Never bend your neck orchid care from watering to changing pots. We may not have large gardens or balconies, but we do have beautiful flower pots and colorful flowers. Of course, our beautiful plants, which we sometimes plant in front of the window, sometimes on the kitchen glass or on the sill of the balcony, when it is convenient. Learn how to make a terrarium and look at it in glass lanterns, of course, care. When it comes to the orchid, it pays to be extra careful and treat it with special sensitivity. Because caring for them isn't the same as caring for violets. We tell you everything you need to know about caring for those orchids that turn into an empty stick so that one day when you take your eyes off them, we say let's add life to the lives of our orchids. If you want to learn these tricks and the issues you need to take care of, let's start by explaining how to take care of orchids and what the tricks are. What is and what is not? What is an orchid? Orchid, which is of the Salpgyler family, is actually a plant that is said to contain more than 22,000 species in the world. But of course, we are used to seeing it as an ornamental plant. Probably because of the sleep we used to use in our kitchens. Today, we will talk about evaluating an orchid, which is defined as a perennial herbaceous plant, as an ornamental plant. If you grow at least one orchid in your home, we say that you should find out what you need to know about its care as soon as possible. And we begin to explain how to care for this very delicate, very rare and valuable plant. Orchids never fall. How to take care of orchids. If you decide to grow orchids at home, you should first start by choosing the right orchid. When choosing orchids, you can experience the beauty of a short flowering period if you prefer those that have fully blossomed. For this reason, you can choose orchids that have a lot of buds in the flowering part. You should also make sure that the orchid pot you buy is transparent. Suppose you choose the right orchid or you have orchids in your house. So the first point you should know about orchid care is its relationship to sunlight. Orchids do not like to receive direct sunlight. For this reason, you should keep it in a bright area but not directly under sunlight. You can grow it behind tulle curtains in front of a window and keep it from taking advantage of the light and being damaged by the sun. Second, make sure that the orchid vase is transparent and small. And do not put the orchid you bought in this way in another vase. Because it is important that orchid roots receive indirect, even if not direct, sunlight for healthy growth and orchids grow best in small pots. Thirdly, you must make sure that there are drainage holes in the pot. Since the orchid does not like a lot of water, if you overwater it, you need to allow it to drain through the drainage holes in the bottom of the pot. Otherwise, the roots of the orchid will be damaged by the excess water and will begin to rot. And your plant will die after a while. Therefore, it is very important to choose pots that have drainage. In addition, you should be careful in choosing the soil for orchids. Because orchids do not like all soil. If you get orchid soil and fertilizer prepared for growing orchids, you will see that you can grow more productive orchids. Finally, orchids love to take their place. For this reason, you should be careful not to change the location of the orchid frequently. And as we said above, you should keep it in bright environments where it is not exposed to direct sunlight but can receive daylight. It will be useful to ensure that the room temperature is between 15 and 25 degrees. For those who have questions about orchid watering, how to water an orchid. Orchids do not like a lot of water and do not like dehydration. For this reason, you need to be very careful with watering this delicate plant. In general, the period of time when the soil is always kept moist is selected which is one in four to seven days, and watering is carried out during this period. However, you need to change this period over time. Since there are large differences in air temperature, especially in summer and winter. For example, if you water once every seven days in the winter, 
You can set this time to be once every four days when the summer heat comes. Watering in the morning generally increases the yield you will get. Your feedback is very important when deciding when to water. If you think the soil is dry and dry, you can shorten the time even more. If you live in a very dry area or orchids are starting to drool from thirst. There is another unusual way you should know to replenish them. Snow. Yes, we're talking about the ice you know. If your orchid soil is often dry in the heat, take a few pieces of ice and place them in the orchid pot on top of the soil. Since the ice melts slowly and drains, the soil will stay moist for a longer time. This method is one of the well-known and often preferred by everyone who cares about orchids at home. So much so that orchid care solutions, which will be very familiar to those who look at orchids at home, can also be mixed with water and turned into ice cubes. In this way, the mixture melts, which will little by little revive the plant and benefit the plant. Of course, to apply this method with the solution, you also have to take care that the maintenance water you receive can mix with the irrigation water. Look, this matter is serious. Orchid pruning. Orchid, as we said at the beginning, is actually a perennial plant. In other words, if you have an orchid at home and it loses its flowers and only a stem remains, this does not mean that it is dead. Already an orchid can bloom two to three times a year. This means that by pruning your orchid, you can grow orchids again in the coming seasons. Wait for a while after the orchid blooms. Take the pot that has grown after the stem begins to darken. And first get rid of that stick that is usually placed in the pot for support. Next, explore the joints on the lizard's trunk. Start counting the nodes from the bottom of the pot, the root of the orchid. Mark the third point from bottom to top of these knots that looks like a thin line of a different color. Cut the top of the stem with pruning shears a few centimeters above this third knot. With proper watering and sunlight, you will see that the stem of the young orchid begins to grow again and then bloom again. Orchid Care Point Repotting Orchid Since the orchid is a plant that needs to get used to its place and bloom efficiently only, after it loves its place, it is not recommended to cut it under normal conditions. However, if there is a situation that should not be such as wrong fertilization, wrong soil, rotting roots, opaque pots or large pots, you can change the pot. When you decide to change the pot for the orchid, you need to make sure that the flowers are completely completed and take measures a few days earlier. Water the orchid more frequently than usual two to three days before the day of re-feathering. This will make it easier for the orchid to get out of the pot. And the roots will remain stronger for a few days. Which will speed up the process of adaptation to the new pot. When changing the pot, pull the plant out of the pot by holding it upside down. Then try as much as possible to clean up the compost slurry remaining on the roots. Cut off the rotting, damaged roots from the orchid which will meet its new soil in its new pot, in a way that will never harm other roots. Then the orchid flower is placed in the middle of the new pot and the soil with the special orchid mixture is well placed on the sides. After providing watering conditions and sunlight, your orchid will be very happy in its new pot. A small note, if you like it and need it, you can discover how cinnamon works wonders for your orchid care. And you can also take a look at our article titled, The Three Ingredient Cinnamon Mix to Revive Your Faded Plants.